Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama and I finally found my lens cover that I needed to account for the fact that this lens brings in too much light. So finally my videos are not going to be crazy overexposed and unable for me to fix it in post edit. Today I am back with a kind of similar video to one that I did recently. Um, not too long ago I did a video showing how to pack the 12 little stroller caddy and I had some requests of people wanting to see the other new print from 12 Little packed up similarly. If you've not seen it before, this is the new print. It's called Grey Twinkle. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, and so what I thought I'd do today, since so many people wanted to see it in action, was pack it up again. I know we just recently did a packing video with the stroller caddy, but I have a few new things to show you and just sort of a different way to pack this up. And I think it never hurts to show you different ways to use, especially big things like this, um, and different ways to organize those on the inside. So today I'm going to show you how to pack it up and show you what the print looks like on the inside and all that other stuff. As always, um, everything that I'm showing you today will be linked down in the description box below. Almost everything that I'm showing you is from my business, thesensiblemama.com. And before I jump into today's video, let me tell you a little bit about my business. The Sensible Mama is an online baby boutique for babies, toddlers, big kids, and moms. Our warehouse is located in Atlanta, Georgia, and we are mama-owned and mama-operated. Our website, thesensiblemama.com, is a place where you can find all of the best-known names in the industry researched by us. We are also the home of Limea brand, which is a high-end line of diaper bags, sunglasses, and accessories designed by me with busy moms on the go in mind. While you're there, make sure you sign up for our Sensible Reward Program or apply for the affiliate program to start earning money either through cash back in the store or directly deposited to your bank account. Lastly, make sure you're following The Sensible Mama on Instagram to be ahead of the game for all store news and product launches. And with that said, let's get right back into today's content. All right, so this is the 12 Little Stroller Caddy in the gray twinkle print. It is absolutely gorgeous. And what I love about a print like this one is that it is gonna go with most other prints that you have, which is always a plus if you're someone who loves Toki Doki or Disney characters or whatever else, you don't have a hard time matching up your prints. And for a lot of us, that matters. So just to quickly go over the features of this bag, one thing that I am not showing you here, but I will overlay a clip right in this area, um, is that you do get stroller clips that come included with this bag, as well as a messenger strap. The stroller clips are some of the best quality I've ever seen in stroller clips. 12 Little just nails it with those. You get those for free with this bag, which is incredible. You also get a messenger strap. I'll go ahead and say, I don't think that this bag is the most comfortable to be worn cross body or on your hip, but it is really convenient to be able to pull that messenger strap out when you need it. I like to keep it in the internal zipper pocket in here just in case, so you can carry it along with you on the go. The bag does have a grab handle up here, which is nice and small, which I appreciate since this is not the kind of bag that you're typically going to be using a grab handle for. It mostly stays out of the way. Up here, you have a zipper pocket, which for some ways that you pack this can be really convenient and useful. Let me take this out really quickly. Um, because it allows you to just peek right into the bag and grab the things that you need. So if you've packed yours a little different than I have mine packed today, and we'll get into it in a minute, and you have like diapers and wipes sitting right here on the top, you can really easily just reach in and grab those without even opening up the caddy. Um, which I think is really smart on 12 Little's part because not everyone loves a front flap. And they understood that. So they said, hey, this is needed just to kind of keep everything safe and protected from being snatched out of your stroller. But we do want to give you this little zipper to make things convenient for you. Over here on the side, you have a nice little spot for keeping a drink. I love to keep my water here because um, I can usually keep bigger cups like the Brewmate Pint or the Brewmate Rehydration Bottle over here. And it's just a nice, really, really big pocket that will even hold those bigger drinks. Over on this side, you have the sort of signature 12 little thing, which is their peekaboo pocket. It's genius. Um, it lifts up like this. <laughs> And from here, you can get direct access to your wipes, which is huge. With toddlers, especially with my kids always getting their hands into things that I don't want them touching, I just like being able to get into this really quickly, pull a wipe out, and cover this back up. And that's for the most part all of the external sort of pockets and structure on this caddy, so let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, the flap here is held down by a little buckle and snap. 
But what I love about this, again, I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Julia from 12 Little is just one of the smartest designers of diaper bags. I really have to hand it to her because everything that 12 Little makes is so well thought out. And what I love about this caddy is that they've given you this flap for protection of your things, but you can also really neatly tuck this flap back here and it stays out of the way. See how it just kind of like lays right there. And of course, if you have this, there's a tag back there. If you have this up against your stroller, that's going to be pinned down anyway. But that way, if you want to use this like a traditional caddy and just be able to reach in whenever you need something, it's already all set up for you like that. So now that I have this open, let me just tilt this over one time to kind of show you how everything looks from the top. As you can see, nice and organized for quick grab. And I'll explain what this is in just a moment. So the first thing that I have is something I've already talked about, which is my Brewmate Pint. This is in the Monstera print. We did just get the, the botanical prints in stock at the Sensible Mama. If you want to check those out, um, this will kind of stick out when you don't have anything in there, which is fine. I do wish that it would lay a little bit more flat, but no big deal. Here on the front, you have two slip pockets. And I, again, my thinking when I pack up a stroller caddy is always that I'm going to have a diaper bag, right? I'm going to have a diaper bag with other things. So I do not want the caddy to be overpacked. I don't want it to feel like I'm stressed out trying to find things in here. I truly want this to be for quick grab. So in this front slip pocket, I have a wet bag. This is for collecting um, soiled clothes or socks or shoes or anything. That's something that I do want to grab for really quickly, if we're, especially if we're walking around at a fair or something. So that goes right there. And then over here, I have something. I, guys, I find myself grabbing for these probably more <laughs> than anything else that I carry in my bag. These are the Go Silly straws. Um, they're reusable silicone straws that come in these little tins. And it's just shocking how much use I find for these things. So I make sure no matter where I go, I have these close at hand and I like keeping them in this pocket because they fit in there neatly. They don't bulk up the bag and everyone knows where to grab for those while we're out. Over here, there's like a little flap right here that kind of holds all of this in. I have the change pad that comes with the stroller caddy. Again, you get everything with this, a messenger strap, stroller clips, and a change pad. It's brilliant. And this is a very nice cushy change pad too. I also have a size six diaper and of course my wipes that were right here in that peekaboo pocket. So you can also pull these out. It's not like they're stuck in there in that peekaboo pocket. Um, you can get those out really easily. And I like keeping all that there for obvious reasons when I need to do a diaper change and I don't want to take the entire caddy into the bathroom with me. It's really easy to just go whoop and I've got everything that I need right there. Now, obviously, you know, if you're out, you're gonna want to take more than just one diaper with you, but this is where I think having a strategy is important because you have a diaper bag that's gonna have other diapers in it. Might as well just reload one diaper at a time into here so you can do that little trick. Just pull all that stuff out, run to the bathroom and do a diaper change. Okay, next down in here, I have things for sun protection because that's just always gonna be important when we're out and about. I have a little sun hat for myself. I love how these just fold right up nice and neat, nice and neat. And uh, you can just open that up, then fold it back up when you need it. What I like about these, and I have them for the little kids too, is that these not only give cover for your head, but also for your neck and shoulders. Um, and I just find that when we're out in intense heat, this is really the best way to keep us all covered up and out of the sun. And again, because weather conditions can change quickly, this is just something that I wanna have right there packed inside of the caddy. Next, I have a yay bag rolled up down here. I just think this is useful. I find that when I am out with my stroller, that tends to be the times where we're shopping or again, we're at a fair where we're picking up little goodies. And sometimes you just end up with your hands super duper full. So I like bringing a yay bag along with me because you can open it right up. It's nice and big. You can toss things into it and then just like hang this on the side of your stroller or put it in the undercarriage part of the stroller. It's just nice to have as a backup. Next down in here, I have my Limea brand sunglasses. Typically I'll leave the lid off. Um, this is the bamboo case that all Limea sunglasses come in. I just like to stick this down inside of there, usually without the lid, so that that way I can just reach in and grab my sunglasses as needed and then toss them back in there when I'm done. The last thing that I have in here, and then I'll give you sort of a close up look at the inside of the caddy. This is the Petunia Pickle Bottom Pixel. This is an insulated cooler for keeping hot things hot and cold things cold. What I like about this is that 
Um, although I do feel like the caddy will do a, a kind of okay job of keeping cold things cold. It is nice and um, I guess just because it's so well closed up, it kind of stays insulated on its own. But this is an actual like well insulated little bag and it's just great for bringing along those snacks that you want to keep cold. So one thing that I like is that because this is made a lot like the stroller caddy and that this lid will kind of flop over. If you wanted to, like if you know everyone is kind of getting in and out of this for a little while, you can leave it open. Of course that is going to keep it from staying as cold as you would like it, but that does make it a little bit more convenient. So in here I just have a little bag of cubed cheese, a yogurt, I have two Pura stainless cups, and then two sparkling waters in there as well. Here's what the inside of that bag, bag looks like, just nice and simple. And I love how well it fits inside of here. It seems like it was just made for it. Now, just to quickly show you the inside of the caddy, here's what it looks like. And as you can already see, this is a removable flap that I had pushed aside because the space that this creates was just a little bit smaller than that Petunia Pickle Bottom Pixel. But if you're not interested in using the Pixel, and this is last time I packed this up, I kept this here and I left this space for um, my Pura Stainless Cups. You can put this here and just have a little bit of extra internal organization. You also do have a small zipper pocket right down here to put any other things that you might be grabbing for. It's just absolutely genius. All right, that is it for today's packing video. I hope you found it helpful. I know this was a little redundant with a video that I did not too long ago, but I wanted you guys to see this beautiful new print in person. Of course, if you saw anything in this video that you want to check out, they are all available at thesensiblemama.com. I make these videos to help you and to help you learn how to use the things that you've already spent your money on in a more smart and efficient way. But of course, um, I do want to help grow my business. I am a mama-owned, mama-operated business, which means I hire moms and I am very focused on changing the work culture to be mom-inclusive all around the world. And it starts with little businesses like mine. So your support means so much to me. The shopping links are down in the description box below. Love ya, mean it, always, and I'll see you in the next one.